money line a popular betting term that you may have seen across multiple sports books but you've been wondering what exactly is a money line over the course of this video i'm going to explain to you exactly what a money line is and how you can bet it we would consider this the easiest betting term to understand when somebody is asking about the money line they're simply asking who is going to win the game when making a money line bet there are three possible outcomes to this bet Firstly, the team that you wager on wins the game and therefore you win your bet. Secondly, the team that you wager on loses the game and therefore you lose your bet. And third of all, the game could end in a tie and your bet would result in a push, which means you would get the initial stake of your bet completely refunded to your account. Now you might think this is an easy way to make money. All you have to do is predict which team is going to win the game and you win your bet. It's a good theory, but in reality, sports books understand that in these matchups, there's a favorite and an underdog, and their money line odds will reflect accordingly. Let's take a hypothetical matchup between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, in a matchup where the Patriots are expected to easily win. The Patriots' money line odds could be placed at minus 350, meaning you'd have to wager $350 in order to win $100. The Jets in this discussion could be placed at a money line of plus 300, meaning you would have to wager $100 in order to win $300. Obviously, in this discussion, the New England Patriots are the favorites to win the game. However, you have to risk $350 only to win $100. Is it smart to bet on the money line? Simply put, it's always going to be about how you bet, but there is definitely value in betting the money line. It's not extraordinarily rare to see on any given night multiple underdogs pull through and get a win, which would make their betters a lot of extra money on those bets. You have to understand, however, that there is a risk associated with the reward of your actions on both sides of the money line. You can also find a game where the opponents are much more evenly matched. In a hypothetical example, you could have Team A listed at minus 110 on the money line odds, and you could have Team B also listed at minus 110 on the money line odds. Therefore, whichever team you bet on, you would have to wager $110 in order to win $100. This is where that pregame prediction can come in very handy, as you can find a lot of value in placing money line bets on odds like this. Can the money line odds change? Like any other betting line, of course the odds can change. Various factors leading up to the match can significantly affect the money line odds. If a star player gets injured during the week, or if we find out that a player is going to be resting for the game, the money line odds will reflect accordingly. It's a little bit of a misconception among sports bettors that think they're getting a bit of an edge when there is a player who is injured leading up to a matchup. Unless you're making that wager within 30 seconds of the injury news breaking out, the sports books are going to react quickly in order to ensure profitability, and whichever money line odds that they put out after the fact are going to have that injury taken into account, and those odds are going to reflect that injury. Will multiple sports books have different money line odds? Sports books are generally going to have similar money line odds set, but there's always going to be a little bit of a difference. But it can be a little bit overwhelming to constantly search through all of these sports books to find out which one is offering the best price. That is where utilities like Betstamp can come in very handy. Betstamp will automatically search all of your favorite sports books to tell you which one is offering the best price for that sports wager that you wanted to make anyway. This is a term called line shopping, and here at Betstamp, that is what we are all about.